All right, so for Thursday's workout, we're gonna be balancing out the pulling strength we built on Monday's workout with building some pushing strength. So we're gonna start out with three minutes of running warm up. And all we wanna do for our running warm up is help our body transition from the range of motion and force that we use on our day to day to the range of motion and force that we're gonna be using when running. So a little bit of ankle stretching, a little bit of hip stretching and range of motion, and the coach will lead you through that. And then we're gonna have three rounds of a 200 meter run. So we're just out to the end of the building and back. 12 banded face pulls, working on shoulder stability, holding the shoulder blades down, and then eight reps per side of a banded payoff press. This is where we're working on core stability and welding our ribs to our hips. And then we're gonna start with five sets of seven reps per side, single arm landmine press. So remember, when we put weight on one side of the body, it significantly increases the work that the core has to do to stop the rotation. And then we're gonna do five sets of 10 reps per direction of the landmine oblique twists. So we're isolating just like with the payload press, and now we're twisting, okay, in working on the explosiveness of that rotational ability of our core. And then we got four rounds of continuous movement. We're gonna do a 400 meter run once around the building, come back in 10 dumbbell deadlifts, 10 bent over dumbbell rows, and then 10 dumbbell push press. This will all be the same dumbbell, and I'm sure as you can appreciate, there's a different demand for each of these movements. So that will be where your active rest is when we go out on the run, nice continuous pace. Looking forward to seeing you on Thursday.